Alright, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Uh, so today we're going to learn a new uh, first chapter, which is introduction to R, which is uh, under first chapter STA three three four, introduction to statistical programming. Right. So we're going to use R programming instead of Python or any other uh, programming language, because R is uh, mostly used by statistician to do any statistical work. Right. Um, so this is uh, about me. Uh, my name is Muhammad Nasir Abdullah, as you know, right? And then uh, I already told you yesterday, this is my website, nasirdrive1.wixsite.com slash nasir916, right? You can visit my website to get the, the material for this slide, right? You can download the material from my website, right? And before we start, uh, so I want you to fill in this form. I'm going to paste into a chat room. Right. So fill in your name, uh, email address and student ID. Right. This is because I'm going to create a, a group in uh, RStudio Cloud. Right. So we're going to we use RStudio Cloud later on after you create, uh, you, you, you fill in your name and um, student ID, email address, right? So make sure your email address is valid to use. You're going to use that email address for R Studio. Right, uh, let's look at uh, what is R. R is actually a language, an environment for statistical computing and graphic, right? So it's actually a, just a language, a programming language. So there are a lot of uh, other language out there, such as S, S+, SAS, Stata, right and python java c++ and so on ruby also can, uh, can do a statistical work lah. but uh, we are using r because r is a higher le a level language for programming because you don't need to type in a lot of uh, uh, codes to get output lah. it's already uh, been shortened for you to to get an output Right, uh, so the most important part is R is an open source uh, program. Means that you are freely available to use. Right, so you don't need to pay to use uh, R programming, R program. Right, so it is implementation of S language lah. It's an upgrade or advanced uh, uh, modification of S language, which uh, was developed by uh, Bell Laboratories. So. Uh, since R is an open source, R is also open for uh, development. Lah. So many uh, developer are contributing to R programming. So because R is an open source. This is our website for R, www.r-project.org. So you can visit this uh, website. So let me copy for you. So let's see r-project.org. Oops. So this is the website for R programming. So I paste in uh, chat room. So this is uh, our website, the R project for statistical computing, right? So the Cassini, they also give you the introduction about R. Lah. R is a free software environment for statistical computing and graphic. It compiles and runs on wide variety of Unix platform such as a uh, window, Mac OS or Linux and so on. Lah. So we can use, you can download R by visiting Cran Mirror, Cran Mirror website. Lah. Right. So, so you can uh, read the question and uh, answer or to frequently ask question before you download R and install R. Lah, right? But we, uh, installing R is pretty easy. So the current version of R is version 4.1.2, Bird Hippie. Right? This is a pre-release version. Will appear starting Friday lah. This Friday 22nd, uh, next Friday, 22nd October. So the final release will schedule on uh, uh, November lah, 1st November. So currently you can use R version 4.1.1 lah. Uh, the click things. Uh, the name R will always give a name for each version. For example, let's say for 4.1.1 is kick things, 4.1.2 is bird hippie, 
4.0.5 is shake and throw right so we can see the release date lah uh, for each version so r is frequently updating their version right because uh, r remember r is open source and open for development so every version has an upgrade uh, things to do lah right so that is a uh, different between R version point, uh, 4.0 and 4.1.0 and above. So in version 4.1.0 and above, such as 4.1.1 and 4.1.2, it uh, implement uh, some uh, code from a package, lah. Uh, it, it including uh, the piping rule in the base package. So later on, I will explain detail on R programming. Right, so what R does and what R does not. Right, apa yang R buat and apa yang R tak buat lah. So uh, R is, does ha data handling and storage. Such as a numeric uh, data, text data, picture and so on lah. Right, even a music uh, data also can be captured in R programming. So it can do a metric algebra such as, uh, as same as uh, S program, MATLAB, like the other Stata and so on. Lah. So it is uh, can do hash table and regular expression such as uh, equal equal, uh, divide, multiply, assign value, right? It's a high level data analytic and statistical function. Lah. Uh, this that's why we are using. Uh, R programming instead of C++ or uh, Java or Ruby, right? So high-level data analytics programming, high-level language is uh, currently uh, that I know is uh, only R and Python, right? So it so it can do a class graphic programming language uh, such as other programming uh, uh, things lah, like uh, loops, branching and subroutines. Lah. If you still remember in uh, C++, you already learned how to use for, how to use if, else, while, right, function, calling the library, right. So all the, uh, the same concept will be applied in R programming but with less coding, uh, with less coding, right. So uh, R does not a database. It's not a database, but we can connect it to the database, either a structured database or non-structured database. So remember, you already learn uh, structured database, right? Or using Oracle or Access, right? Uh, select from where, right? So that is a, a structured database, kan? So such a database must contain a structured table, properly defined the uh, the primary key and secondary key right but uh, for unstructured for unstructured uh, database is uh, containing uh, documentation right uh, files a lot of files right we can connect it together using unstructured database lah. so uh, it's not a graph uh, there are R does not have a graphical user interface so this is a uh, a frustration uh, from uh, typical SPSS user, lah, right? If you are a typical SPSS user, right, you are depending on graphical user interface. Means that you want to click here and click there, again. But uh, in using R, there are no graphical user interface, lah. Right? You need to do a uh, fully programming, right? There are no uh, interface for click, uh, analyze, uh, in. Uh, clip, uh, if you want to, uh, let's say in SPSS, eh, uh, you nak buat uh, box plot, you need to click on graph, uh, box plot and drag the variable into the dialog box, right? But in R, there are no such uh, graphical user interface for that function. Lah. But uh, however, there are some function developed by uh, somebody uh, using R commander. Right? There is a graphical user interface but very limited function. So it's a language interpreter can be very slow, right? But uh, allow to call own uh, C or C++ code lah, right? R is quite slow compared to other uh, uh, programming uh, language such as uh, Python or C++. C++ is very fast, 
but R is very slow because it totally depend on uh, physical memory, uh, which is a uh, RAM, right? Random access memory. Uh, so uh, it can be very slow lah, uh, for some uh, very big data, right? So there are no spreadsheet view of data, but we can connect it to Excel or Microsoft Office, any uh, Office uh, tools, right? And the most frustration part is there are no professional or commercial support because this is a, a free open source software and open development software. However, uh, since R is uh, uh, the user of R is very wide, uh, banyak orang. So there are um, if you have any question about R, if you have a problem about R programming, you can just type in or Google, you will get the answer, right? Because R is having a very uh, good community uh, or group using R, right? So let's look at advantage and disadvantage of R, right? Advantage is uh, R is a free software and fast software uh, to get. Right, uh, R is an inter uh, is state of art, means that SPSS and SAS are years behind R, right? So if you want to do a complex or advanced techniques analysis of, uh, let's say you have a very uh, difficult, uh, messy data or inconsistent data or skewed data, right? So normal uh, classifier uh, such as if you want to do a uh, logistic regression, for example, right? So, uh, if you are using SPSS for normal binary logistic regression, uh, SPSS also can do. But if you have a, uh, when you have uh, some assumption of uh, techniques is uh, violated, then uh, you need to do advanced techniques such as a penalized regression, penalized uh, te uh, techniques or regularization techniques. So, in SPSS, there are no uh, advanced technique provided, right? If you are using R, you can freely code your own techniques, lah, right? So second only to MATLAB for graphic. Of course, MATLAB is a very powerful for graphic, but uh, R is also powerful for graphic, right? So uh, MX, WinBugs, and other program will also uh, use or will use R also, right? Even SPSS nowadays also uh, integrated with R programming. Right, if you want to do, uh, let's say, for example, FERT logistic regression. So in SPSS, uh, normal SPSS, there are no uh, advanced technique. But if you connect it to R programming, then you can code it, uh, code your own program into SPSS. As I said, advantage of R is it has an active user community, very wide user community, right? So... If you have any problem using R, right, then you just can join the community in such as uh, Stack Overflow, right, R Blogger, uh, Twitter. Nowadays, uh, most of developer of R are using Twitter. So if you have any problem, you can find the developer in Twitter. So it is very excellent for simulation programming, uh, computer uh, intensive anal analysis. Right? And then uh, the advantage is uh, they force you to think about your analysis. Lah, huh? So unlike uh, SPSS, uh, garbage in, garbage out, when you uh, input data into SPSS, you just click anything, any analysis, then you will get a result. Uh, but it's not in R. Lah. R, you need to think about your data, right? Uh, the type of data, whether it's numerical, categorical, right? uh, as factor, and so on. Lah. And you need to know the type of data in uh, R, such, uh, same as uh, others programming, uh, such as integer, bytes, and, and so on. Lah, huh? So, uh, it's, uh, the interface with uh, database storage software, SQL, you can connect it to the S database as well. Lah. This, this is an uh, advantage of R. So, the disadvantage of R is not user-friendly uh, right, for a beginner. For a beginner, it's not a user-friendly. You often make a mistake when you're typing a code, right? So if you lose uh, one bracket, then the program will not execute. We will not, we will, you will get uh, an error, lah, huh? such as others, uh, same as others uh, programming language juga. Lah. 
if you uh, missing one uh, comma one dot one uh, symbol it will give you an error right so there are no commercial support so this is a disadvantage but however if you want a commercial support you can download r for uh, business have r for professional they will give you a, a commercial support lah. Uh, but you need to pay but why we need to pay because this is a free program right so if you have any problem just google and ask find the answer lah. or you just put the, your question into the community platform and easy to make mistake and not know right so if you are using a base r right you are not integrating with i any ide program right so you will easy to make mistake and not know uh, where is your mistake so nowadays luckily we have uh, an ide right such as a jupyter notebook uh, we have microsoft visualization and visual uh, visual uh, and then we have our studio and so on lah. so our subject we will use our studio as an ide for uh, R programming right so the another advantage the disadvantage of R is uh, it working with a large that when we work with a large data set so uh, it remember uh, just now I already told you R is totally depend on uh, RAM right your physical RAM so if you have a lower uh, low value of RAM then uh, your your speed amount of uh, computing will be very slow right it's totally depend on ram lah so data preparation and cleaning can be messier and more mistake to prone in r uh, compared to spss lah huh? because uh, we uh, to view the data we need to understand uh, to to clean the data we need to understand the nature of the data as well right <clears throat> so R is exploding in popularity, right? If you can see the the graph here, this is number of uh, Google Scholar hits uh, from 1995 until uh, 2018, right? So the number of user for SPSS is exploding uh, from 1995 until the peak is uh, 2009 or 2008, right? And it began to drop from uh, year 2008 onwards, lah. And then if you look at uh, the number, uh, line number two, right, the use, sorry, uh, line number, this is the brown line, right, you nampak tak? Dekat bawah ni, the brown line ni, nampak the R, the R programming, or user is exploding lah, dia mula menaik lah, right? So, because the era of IR 4.0 and big data era, right, so the, the user of R is... Uh, become more popular right uh, currently r and python right so kita tengok yang lain next slide okay so this is a uh, i taken from uh, one website right march 13 march 2019 so it says that spss is that is dying time to change right so if you are a typical spss user please divorce SPSS from your life right so try to use R and others programming language right so they get the sini. I predict R overtake SPSS in yearly citation by 2020 the implication are clear if you are use SPSS in your business or research move to R now rather than later ada kereta kat sini lah kita nampak dia punya google hit so this one is R probability lah for google trend kita nampak google trend ni R punya uh, percentage search proportion is very high compared to others for uh, statistical software lah right so I'm not including uh, python because python is way more uh, higher because uh, you need to remember uh, the difference between R and python is R is specifically designed for statistic uh, statistician or statistic use, but uh, Python is uh, is more um, they are, they are open lah. Maksudnya semua benda buat guna Python, right? Even you want to create a game, also use a Python, right? So so I'm comparing for statistical software only lah. So if you look at into uh, this is a based on Google Trend. So R and SPSS, R user is more 
compared to SPSS lah, right? Even in Malaysia also, uh, our user is more compared to SPSS. Right, this is another thing, benda yang sama juga. This is uh, to date 6 October, right? Kalau kita tengok ni, this is uh, SPSS yang warna biru. R is warna kuning, right? Kuning. And hijau is SAS. Uh, R and SAS is a uh, competing lah. Uh, because uh, SAS is a uh, very uh, powerful juga. But SAS, the disadvantage of SAS is SAS you need to pay to use SAS. Right? So R is the most powerful and flexible statistical programming language in the world. Right? This is a statement I'm taking from the internet. So the capabilities, the application. Right? Um, because the capability and application, application lah. Right? So, uh, as I said, a user committee for R, there are a lot of user uh, committee for R, right? Such as, uh, I'm, currently I'm using R Blogger, uh, GitHub, uh, Quora, and Twitter, and Stack Overflow as well, right? So, if you, are use, if you visit Stack Overflow, uh, if you have any question, just throw into Stack Overflow, and somebody will help you, lah. and as well as Twitter and R Blogger. Right, so uh, R is has a steep learning curve lah. First step when you are very beginner, uh, like you all, right? Well, first time nak tengok R, right? Is going to be very hard, but if you learn R step by step, slowly, and you will get uh, understand R uh, uh, in uh, very simple lah. Eh? They, 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 you can faham uh, R dengan mudah lah. Right, so we need to understand the basic command interface, data type, package, and procedure about R lah. Like look at the history of R, right? Before we go to in installation of R, kita tengok history of R. R is a comprehensive statistical and graphical programming uh, language, and it has a dialect of S language lah. It's uh, developed by uh, Rose Yaka and Robert Gentleman. Uh, this is a uh, two professor from uh, this Department of Social Science, University of Auckland, right? Uh, during 1990s, right? So since 1997, uh, so we started to uh, make it R as an open source, and and uh, nowadays until now, uh, R is an uh, active uh, open development, lah. Um, Alright. So let's look at uh, how to install R. So, have you installed R in your machine, computer? Belum? Sudah? Belum? Okay. Right. If you're not, so first step, we need to install R using a latest version. We need to go to cran.r-project.org. So, I paste it into your chat room. So, kita pergi ke website. Yeah? So, this is the website. Uh, CRAN, CRAN is stand for Comprehensive R Archive Network. Eh? CRAN is stand for Comprehensive R Archive Network, CRAN. So, this is a website, uh, this is a page where we download R for the first time. So, there are, there are an explanation down here, what are R and CRAN. So, you can see, kita boleh baca lah. CRAN is a network of FTP and web server around the world that store identical up-to-date version of code and documentation for R. So we can use CRAN mirror nearest to you to minimize network load. Uh, network load lah. So uh, kalau you punya internet connection is very slow, you can go to mirror lah. Uh, mirror dekat sini, dia ada uh, ikut ne uh, negara lah, ikut country. So we, if you go to Malaysia, we have UPM server, right? UPM server, University Putra Malaysia, have a server for CRAN mirror. Lah. But uh, I'm not going to show you here. So uh, kita nak tengok dekat atas ni. Download and install R, right? So pre-compile binary distribution of base system and contribute package. So, dia ada kat sini, window and Mac user most likely want to use this version of R. Right? So, if you are using uh, Linux, right? So, uh, so you boleh uh, pilih di, you punya version lah. Uh, ada yang menggunakan Linux ke? Debian, Ubuntu, right? Tak ada eh? 
So we are focusing on uh, Windows and Mac OS. So ada yang menggunakan uh, Mac OS? MacBook tak ada. So the process is simple, but I am going to show you for Windows first. Eh? So apa yang kita nak buat ni kat sini? Eh? Uh, we going to download our base, right? So ada dua benda kat sini. We going to download our base and install our base. And after that, we going to install the IDE uh, program. The IDE, right? Means the uh, ini dia punya engine, ini dia punya body lah, right? So so kalau you uh, are you Windows user, so click on download R for Windows. So it will lead you to this page lah. R for Windows. Kalau you are Mac OS. Uh, user click on R for Mac OS dia akan keluar macam ni so I tunjuk dulu uh, window eh. so we go to download R for window and then this is the base R eh. kita nak tengok base R right tak payah pergi contribution old contribution R2 tak payah lagi lah so we just download base R so binary for base distribution so this is what we want install R for the first time tekan yang ni and then they will lead you to the current version of R which is 4.1.1 remember tadi kita tengok website dia dalam uh, R project ni dia kata uh, R 4.1.1 kick things has been released in uh, August uh, 10 August so a new version R.1.2 will be released on November lah nanti November nanti kita install yang baru right so currently we install the 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 Current version lah 4.1.1 So you download R for window So you click on download dekat sini Dia akan install lah Dia akan save uh, to your computer lah So you save kat desktop You save and then you install Right? You know how to install? Install macam biasa lah uh, Just click next, 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 next right? So once you install uh, So yang ni untuk window lah For Mac OS Right? Kita back dekat sini Mac OS Download R for Mac OS. So, dekat sini, kita cari latest release. Eh, latest release. Dekat sini, R 4.1.1. So, kita tengok R uh, 4.1.1. So, you click uh, R 4.1.1.pkg. Uh, right? Then, you install in your MacBook. Right? So, that is very simple. So, once you're, uh, you dah download. Sudah download. Download now. So I give you time to download. So once you uh, already install R, you cari R version lah. You cari R. Dekat sini eh. Word of R. Okay. R kat sini. Then you will see R 4.1.1. Right. Mine is 4.1.0. Uh, right. Later on nanti I akan tunjuk uh, satu video. How to upgrade R 4.1.1. Uh, two nanti you, you punya lah For me I, I'm going to upgrade 4.1.1 So you click the, this one lah So dia akan dapat Ini saja. So let's say I besarkan sikit You will un, uh, get only R and console. Right. Nanti kita akan tengok ada view benda lain juga lah. Uh, macam contoh. Um, kita boleh install juga. Uh, kita boleh letak juga dia punya program code dekat sini. Tapi nanti saya tunjuk. Right. So now what I want you to do is to install R for the first time. Uh, this is the extension of R, right? Uh, R punya extension is .R, right? If you are using Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Office Word, for example, so the extension is .doc or .docx, right? For R, the extension will be .R, right? .R, and also, and you also can save your code as uh, as file. But I'm not encouraging you to use as file. You always use .r to save your script. 
right so to get your script file you just go to file new script or oh, if you have uh, existing script you can go to file new script open script and uh, try to open uh, one script like for example uh, let's say box plot so they will appear you uh, the script that you already uh, type in lah. right so this is uh, how we're going to use R for example let's say kita tengok the main engine so the 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 for R console kat sini R console dia akan bagi kita kita the information about R the R version R.1.1 if your version is 0.1 right? uh, 0.1.1 kan so uh, it will give you the name of the the current version mine is 0.1.0 cam contesan uh, copyright 2021 the R foundation for statistical computing platform so they buy it kat sini uh, the introduction of R lah R is a free software come with no warranty right if you computer uh, is spoiled because of R there are no warranty right? because this is a open source software so it's a natural language uh, programming right support by running in English local lah right so R is a collaborative project with many contributors. Uh, this is the main point, right? Because there are a lot of uh, contributor and open for development. So if you want to see the contributor, just type contributor. Uh, dekat dekat bawah ni lah. So before we go on to the that uh, part, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini more than the symbol more than. The symbol more than here means that R is ready for uh, any execution, right? So, kalau kita tak nampak more than kat sini, right? Dekat bawah, means that R is very, uh, is busy lah. Ataupun kita boleh nampak dekat button dekat atas ni ada stop button, right? Atau tengah running button. So, dekat sini, kita boleh type 1 plus 1 for example. Uh, 1 plus 1 and hit enter. So, it will give us the result. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Uh, this is very simple coding, kan? Ataupun kita nak, uh, yang famous untuk pro, uh, programming world, kita type print hello world. Right? So, it will print hello world for us. This is the first uh, programming uh, codes that uh, available in most of the programming books. Right, so now let's see. Kita type uh, contributors. Dekat sini. We can copy and paste. So now the 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 most uh, important part in R programming, you must type in your code fully uh, full uh, code lah, full sentence. Means that you cannot uh, miss out any symbol or any uh, letters, right? So, for example, let's say I'll type uh, contributor with open bracket the close bracket tak ada. So, it will give us the plus sign. Maksudnya, tak boleh berjalan lah. Kalau, kalau kita, kita tekan escape, dia akan balik ke sini lah. So, let's say contributors. So, dia akan bagi kat kita the R information. It will give us the the name of the contributor. Brian Rapley, Duncan Mud. Uh, this is a... Uh, the mem former member of our core lah. Eh? This is the the current member of our core. Right? So, and so on. You can read this one by yourself. And then, uh, how to cite R if you are using R for your project later on. Uh, you need to cite you are using R. So, you need to use R citation. Open and close bracket. So, they will give us how to cite R in your report. Right? R core team 2021 are a language and environment for statistical computing. This is the, uh, the address lah. Right. So then uh, we can start type demo for some demos. Right. Let's say kita type demos. Right. So they can bagi kita. Okay. Let's say you want to. This is a demo in package base. Right. Error dot catching more example on catching and handling error is dot things. Uh, this is for explore some properties of our project and is dot full 
function is uh, not for newbies lah. And this is not for newbies. Right, let's see kita tengok dekat uh, demo for graph uh, statistics uh, package uh, JLM dot VR. This is a uh, some JLM example for VNR with several predictors. LM dot JLM is for linear and generalized linear modeling. Uh, this is based on the book of an introduction to statistical modeling by N. Uh, Dobson, right? And if you are using smooth function, uh, this is a, a visualized step by Turkey smoother, right? So this is a demo, right? You can also type uh, help for online help. Let's say help with current uh, open and close bracket. So kita nampak dekat sini, I letak satu tanda apostrophe kan? So kalau I type, dia akan clock plus. This means uh, cannot be run lah, right? So let's say I type help, open and close bracket, and then baru dia akan keluar. Uh, wait a minute. Dia keluar help document lah. This is online help document. But this basically is uh, the help document ni, documentation ni dalam you punya local computer lah. So help is the primary interface of help file. Help system lah. So the topic, argument, package, library and so on lah. You can find the, uh, the help here. Right, um, I think that's all for very uh, surface introduction, right, for base R. So, let back go, uh, let go back to our slide. So, now, this one what we call as a base R or R engine, right? Without R engine, you cannot run R, right? So, using R engine, Dekat sini, they just bagi kat kita uh, console, right? So, if you have, uh, if you're doing uh, wrong code, you will not know where uh, is your mistake are, right? So, for example, uh, tadi I tak tunjuk lagi grafik, kan? So, let's say I type grafik box plot. I type box plot, histogram. Histogram, are norm 1000. So, dia akan bagi kat kita. Uh, histogram lah. Uh, so, dia akan close satu lagi uh, a window. Alright. So, this uh, kind of uh, popping window ni macam for me is not very convincing lah. Uh. So, I kena tekan-tekan banyak uh, window keluar. I not really prefer to use uh, base R. Uh, so, that's why I want you to use IDE interface. Uh, in IDE means uh, Integrated Development uh, Environment, right? So, we're going to use RStudio. So, there are a lot of IDE out there. We can use Microsoft Visual, uh, Microsoft Visual, or we can use uh, Jupyter Notebook or Anaconda. We can use uh, uh, Terminal as well, right? You also can use R Studio. Kalau you type terminal, let's say uh, if you are using MacBook, you, uh, you just type terminal. Uh, if you are using um, window, there is a command prompt. Dekat sini, command prompt. Right, you just type R. So, eh, tak ada. Uh, some, uh, mine is uh, not available because uh, I the ada make some adjustment dalam ni. Kalau you punya baru install freshly, you just type R, they will uh, they can keluar R lah. Uh, so, ni nampak lebih nampak macam hacker sikit lah, right? But you not, we are not interested with using uh, single without IDE. Kita akan gunakan IDE. So, now to use IDE, you need to go to R Studio website. So, you just type R Studio com. So I paste dalam dalam chat box. So we're going to use R Studio platform, right? So R Studio another program, right? That uh, layer uh, that use R engine to run R programming. It also can be used 
uh, can we can use Python code as well, right? Dalam ah uh, dalam R Studio, right? And dekat sini dia kata ah uh, ni dekat ah uh, R Studio Connect ah uh, this is uh, something different lah, right? It's a different project. So ah uh, since R is a free software. R Studio also a free software, but it comes with a commercial support where you need to pay for commercial support lah. Kalau you nak commercial support, so everybody ah, dekat sini, semua orang dekat sini, dekat website ni. So now we need to go to download atau pun kita pergi ke a product lah, product. And if you find ah, uh, you, you hover your mouse to product, dekat sini dia ada open source. Hosted service professional, right? So professional, you need to pay lah. R Studio Connect, R Studio Package Manager, R Studio Team, R Studio Cloud. Uh, later on, we we will use uh, R Studio Cloud lah. So there are shiny server, R Studio server, R Package. Uh, R Package is free. Shiny server is paid. R Studio server also paid, right? So later on, I will try to get R Studio server for our university lah, huh? So, uh, bila kita dapat ni, tak payah nak install dah. Uh, just guna website saja, Right? Nanti I cuba dapatkan. Uh, tengah dalam paperwork lah. So, uh, R Studio. Kita akan klik R Studio sahaja. So, the premier IDE for R. Click this one. So, it will lead you to this page. Right? R Studio. Take control of your R codes. So, R Studio is an integrated development environment. So, IDE lah uh, for R. Means that if you are not installing R base at the first place, you cannot run R Studio. Faham tak? R, nak install R Studio, kena install R base dulu. Yang ini dulu. You kena ada ini dulu. Baru boleh install R Studio. Right? The concept uh, macam kereta lah. Huh? R Studio macam body kereta. Right? The engine is... R base, right? So, kalau kita ada engine, tak boleh, tak boleh gerak lah, right? So, now, the current version of R Studio is 1.4. 1.4. So, kita tengok dekat sini, bawah sikit, there are two version of R Studio. Okay, kita kat sini. So, R Studio Desktop and R Studio Server. So, R Studio Server nanti I can uh, work out with, with this, right? Kita akan uh, try dapatkan for our university. In USM is already uh, di mana dah dapat dah, but in our university nanti kita akan work out lah. So R Studio Desktop, run R Studio on your desktop. So tekan ini lah, sudah so, akan ke bawah. So R Studio Desktop is open source edition and R Studio Pro ada dua. So R Studio Pro you need to pay, right? Nine hundred ninety ninety five per year, and R Studio is source open source edition is free uh, free lah you don't need to pay so kenapa nak bayar kita ambil benda yang free because we are cheap so now click download r for uh, studio for desktop kat bawah ni kat, uh, kat sini nampak kan r studio desktop r studio desktop pro server kita ambil yang free lah so free kat sini ok nampak tak all installer ok semua uh, dalam page yang sama. Semua dalam page yang sama. Right. So, the same concept. Ada yang tak dapat? Ada yang tak dapat ke page ni? Dia dekat page ini. Uh, dia ke bawah je. Semua ke bawah. Bawah sekali ke all installer. Right. Ataupun you just go to this link lah. Benda yang sama. Right. I just show you step by step. Right. So, uh, the same process. You need to download if you are using window. You download R, uh, R Studio window.exe. If you are using Mac OS, download DMG. Uh, Ubuntu, Debian and so on. You boleh download yang lain lah. Tapi, uh, the step of installing for Linux is uh, a bit different lah. So you need to install it from uh, terminal. But if you are using a uh, window or Mac OS, you can directly install lah. So you can click this one to to save and install lah. Can you do that? Do it now.
So the size is uh, uh, much bigger compared to our base. Huh? So let me start, uh, save this one. Okay, I already save it. So it will cost you 153,000 kilobytes. Right? So 154 lah. Huh? So you install. Once you already install, Good job, yeah. Oh yes, let's see. Right, once you already install, they are gonna close the casino. R Studio. So you just click R Studio lah. Oops. So basically, when you or uh, you the, for the first time, it should be look like this. Uh, pin it out. So, okay. They are gonna put magic nila. So, can you do it now? Download and install now. This is a very crucial uh, step. You need to have. If you have any problem, let me know. Right. So I'm giving you ten minutes to fifteen minutes, lah. Fifteen minutes to to install. Uh, three thirty. Kita akan uh, tengok balik. So once you already install R Studio, so R will current uh, will automatically detect lah your current uh, R version, right? So remember just now you already install R base, right? So this one, sensor R base. So your current R base is four point one point one. Mine is four uh, four point one point zero lah. So it will appear on console kat sini. Basically, you are going to put this type, this interface. On the uh, left hand side, you have console, terminal and job. Ada tiga tab dekat atas. And then they will give you the introduction. Same as uh, our base lah. Sama je. Right? So, benda yang sama dia akan keluar kat sini. Right? So, kita boleh tutup dah our base ni lah. Kita tak nak. So, we will not use our base. We will use our studio. IDE. So, dekat konsol ni sama juga konsep dia dengan konsol di uh, R, R base. Lah. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So, dia akan keluar. So, 4 minus 2 equal to 2. Benda yang sama ada konsep lah. Uh, programming. Ataupun kita type print uh, hello world. So, dia akan keluar. So, just type and Hit enter. So, they can keluar result ke bawah tu lah. So, all the result, all the output will be appear in console. Sama juga concept. Right? So, let's say kita letak type uh, summary uh, empty cars. Right? Type macam tu. Contoh kan? So, dia akan keluar semua result kat sini lah. Semua output akan keluar kat sini. So, as uh, I, I mentioned just now, Kalau dia keluar more than, more than dekat sini, simbol more than, nampak tak? Simbol more than dekat sini, dekat bawah ni. So, means that R is ready for execution lah. Ready for analysis. Right? Because yeah, it is ready for uh, next uh, uh, code of analysis. Right? So, this is the interface. So, I, I am explaining you the interface first lah. So, dalam R base, Kita tengok tadi, kita boleh type uh, R script kan. So, dekat sini sama juga. Kita ada file, new file, R script. So, basically in R studio, kita ada banyak lah. Python script, shell script, SQL script, CSS script, HTML, C++ script and so on lah. But we are interested in R script for a beginner lah. For start. So, when you click on R script, dia akan keluar script dekat sini. So, you can... Uh, R script ni apa tujuan ya? So, you can type your code and save your code uh, for the next or future use. So, the purpose of R uh, or the use, uh, the advantage of R is the re reproductibility. Reproductibility means that once you already have a coding for the next analysis, if you want to show to me, you no need to type one by one. Macam contoh dalam SPSS. 
SPSS when you already done uh, with linear regression for example uh, you need to click analyze uh, linear model linear regression right so uh, you need to demonstrate Bila next time you want to get the, uh, the same result you need to do the same process you need to click one by one right even though they have a syntax right but in R we can show the work our working uh, or step of doing analysis to everybody and everybody can copy or uh, detect our where is our problem so terminal ni sama juga macam uh, command prompt ataupun terminal dalam uh, dalam uh, macbook right terminal is this is a this is a common prompt lah for window uh, terminal is the same as uh, terminal uh, platform dalam mac, mac os or linux so let's say uh, if you already you have python let's say python so dia akan keluar python kat sini lah you also can use python oops what happened uh, okay so job means that when you execute a job maksudnya let's say you doing a uh, uh, r markdown you want to make a, let's say a note right? for example kalau kita tengok dalam i punya website uh, website I mana? Okay, let's say we go to Nasir Drive dot website ni. Di kat atas ni, you nampak tak ada machine learning kan? Machine learning ni, when you hover mouse, you akan nampak random forest. Contoh, uh, this is this is the notes that I did using R, right? So you can simply uh, make a note for all your uh, coding and dia punya result sekali lah right so this is very confusing uh, confused uh, confusing untuk uh, untuk our user lah right so dekat atas the first one uh, this is a r script boleh nampak the file r so you boleh save 1 plus 1 1 plus 2 the next line is let's say print hello Well, so kalau you perasan dekat sini bila I type I tekan enter dia tak ada apa-apa right so sebab ini adalah uh, kita punya notepad maksud kita nak tulis kita punya code right so if you want to run this code you just uh, place your cursor dekat sini ataupun you highlight the codes and then you click on run so nampak tak dia keluar 1 plus equal to 3 ataupun the, the, the easiest way is you just hit uh, click on control and enter so benda yang sama if you are using a macbook cmd and enter lah cmd and return so print world pun sama juga print hello world control enter or you can highlight this one tekan run ataupun you just type and tekan run ataupun if you want to uh, execute all the program, all the codes. You just highlight every every uh, every codes and you tekan run. So they can close more. Believe me. So and then you can save for uh, for for the first time. Bila you click on a file, new file, a uh, script ni. So they can close untitled one star. So this is not yet safe lah. You tak save lagi. So you click. You boleh tekan save uh, button, discard button. Kita sini discard icon. So you can nampak uh, file ni you boleh save lah. Let's say I type uh, introduction to R. So you can save. So bila you pergi ke desktop. Mana tadi I save dekat mana? I lupa. Uh, oh desktop I kat sini. Second screen. Uh, okay. So you can nampak this one. Nampak tak? Dekat atas ni ni. Introduction to R. So do we the R Studio icon. So this is R Studio icon. Kalau R icon dia dia bentuk lain lah. Let's say R icon adalah macam ni. Let's say kita copy um, open file location. Let's say um, copy and paste shortcut. Alright. So this is uh, R base icon. Nampak tak? And let's say R Studio, inilah icon dia R Studio, right? So there are different icon lah, benda yang sama tapi dia ada simbol R, okay? 
So let's go back to our R Studio. So this is our save R a script. So introduction to R dot R. So with extension dot R. So there are several extension dalam uh, R. So if you remember, uh, you are tip, uh, using uh, if you are using SPSS, if you save uh, data using SPSS, they are going to dot S A V. Right, the extension for data set in SPSS. The extension for output in SPSS dot SPV. Right, uh, so uh, for if you want to save uh, data in R dot RDA and so on, nanti kita akan tengok detail next step, uh, next topic. So I just want to introduce to you the the interface. So let's look at the first inter uh, first one first step, ni, uh, which is script script uh, tab right dekat sini kita ada uh, source on save this is uh, new window show in new window maksudnya dia akan keluar lah uh, so ni kita masukkan balik return uh, tak boleh kita boleh keluarkan kita boleh masukkan balik so I, I prefer dekat sini lah so dekat sini kita ada uh, bila you ada banyak uh, coding right so for example let's say I tunjuk yang coding banyak I Alright, uh, let's say kita ambil uh, generating synthetic data. So this is a very long coding. Ada berapa? Uh, 276. Uh, tak panjang sangat lah. Right, tak panjang sangat. So let's say I nak cari uh, S factor. So dah ada kat sini, dia boleh highlight. So next. Tak adalah satu saja, Okay. Dan then kita boleh replace. Sama konsep dengan uh, Microsoft Excel or uh, Microsoft Word lah. Dalam SPSS pun ada benda yang sama. Right. And then kita ada code tools. Right. Code completion. Go to help. Extract function and so on. Rename the scope. And banyak-banyak lagi lah. Uh, Reindent line. So reindent line maksudnya. So let's say line ni tak tak uh, tak sekata. Let's say uh, tak copy. Macam ni. So, I re-indent line. So, oh tak, tak jadi. Right. Tapi dia akan uh, re-indent lah. Maksudnya dia akan ada indentation. Indentation macam ada space, tab and so on. And then dia ada run dekat sini. And then kita ada rerun the previous code region to source. Maksudnya dekat sini. This is a source. Maksudnya dia akan letak to source dekat sini. Alright. And then... Uh, Source with echo, source as a local job and so on lah. And then uh, dia ada uh, kita punya dekat sini dia ada uh, macam uh, content kan? Table of content macam ni. Alright. So this is our interface for our script. Right. Kita boleh adjust dekat sini. Tinggi rendah, tinggi rendah ataupun minimize. Kita tak suka nak tengok. Kita boleh minimize. And ini sama juga. And then kita boleh kiri kanan. Right is uh, flexible lah. Huh? Right. So, let's look at the next uh, pane. This is all what we call as pane lah. Huh? Pane number one, pane number two, number three, number four. Uh, pane number one is uh, for our script. Pane number two is for console, terminal and job. Pane number three is environment, history, connection and tutorial. Uh, the new R Studio comes with tutorial tabs which is very good lah. Huh? So, we can go and see the tutorial how to use R if you still lost let's say create a new variable start tutorial right tak keluar pula oh dia kena install package nanti kita install tak apa no cancel right so now let's see uh, print uh, environment dekat sini environment kita uh, kita akan nampak apa-apa R object yang kita save dalam memory dia akan keluar dekat sini. For example, let's say I letak uh, um, campur. Uh, this is uh, uh, object. So, I letak arrow left. Arrow to the left means that I want to assign 1 plus 1 into campur. Nampak kan dekat sini, I, I clear the the console first. Bila I tekan, oops. 
bila I tekan uh, say, uh, print ni I will hilangkan okay. alright so bagi you nampak saja bila I tekan 1 tambah, tambah 2 so dia akan terus keluar 3 means that they will uh, execute the 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 codes right so because this one I tak letak kepada object I tak assign kepada object so let's say now 1 tambah 1 supposed to be 2 kan tapi yang ini object ni uh, dia punya computation part ni I tak nak dia display dekat I so I nak dia store dia simpan that result ni dalam campur so untuk simpan dalam campur this is what we call as campur ni we call as object remember we call as object R object so nak simpan kita boleh guna sama dengan ataupun uh, left side arrow huh? so sama ada kita gunakan uh, sama dengan left side arrow so let's say I highlight this one I click control and enter right so when I click control and enter nampak tak ini adalah object so nampak kat sini dia akan keluar dekat environment campur value equal to 2 Maksudnya dia dah compute dekat sini 1 tambah 1 sama dengan 2 Ni akan letak value 2 So how to call the, uh, the, the this uh, out, output So kalau kita tekan campur dekat sini Campur And then we execute Run So dia akan keluar the output Right Boleh faham So I, what I want uh, my intention is I want to explain to you What environment does environment store uh, our object into uh, the environment uh, tab lah so dia, kita akan nampak semua environment uh, semua object dalam environment ni even a data set then we call also dia akan letak dekat sini let's say data empty car so dia akan letak data kat sini lah for example right And then uh, we have uh, dekat atas ni open or load workspace. Uh, kita boleh load apa workspace kita yang sebelum-sebelum ni. Kita boleh save the environment ataupun import dataset. Right? We have we can import from text, uh, from SPSS or uh, or SAS or Stata, Excel. Semua kita boleh import guna kan? Kan? Menggunakan uh, import dataset dekat sini. Dia ada sedikit GUI lah. Kalau kita menggunakan Uh, R base tak ada function ni right tak ada GUI so dekat sini dia bagi tahu kita berapa banyak uh, memory yang kita dah guna untuk store campur dan empty car ni 257 megabyte right termasuklah uh, kita nak buka R studio and so on lah right dekat sini brush ni dia punya broom ni macam mana uh, ni untuk kita clearkan all object dalam environment let's say I tekan room so dia tekan yes dia akan clearkan right boleh faham lah so I, I run again so I nampak dekat sini right so this is the introduction for environment ke sebelah ni kita ada history history means that whatever we have run previously right? so dia akan appear dekat sini lah so this is a kind of a history lah benda yang sama apa yang kita nak kita dah run sebelum ni, dia akan appear dekat sini. So, we can, let's say, uh, I terpadam this one. Hilang. Right? I terpadam. Let's say, mistakely, uh, accidentally I terpadam. So, I tak tahu apa I tulis sebelum ni. So, I boleh tekan balik. I tengok balik dalam history. Oh, I dah tekan uh, data empty cars. So, I boleh, ada dua option kat atas. Sama ada to console or to source. To source means that dia akan letak dekat mana point yang kita nak lah kat sini. Let's say, I tekan to source, dia akan letak kat sini. Kalau tu console, so dia akan letak dekat console. Dia nampak dekat console lah. Eh? So dia akan letak dekat console. So, ataupun kita letak campur tu console. So. Right. And then we also can uh, delete or clean all the history. Kita tekan uh, broom. Tekan clear all history. Right. Connection. When you have a connection with the database. A structured database or non-structured database. When we do a connection, so dia akan appear dekat sini lah. So currently I don't have any connection uh, on cloud. So I, nanti kita akan tengok dalam uh, import and exporting data lah. And tutorial as I showed before, uh, previously lah. 
So dekat bawah ni kita akan nampak uh, Let me I, I angkat besar sikit So you nampak Right We have uh, miscellaneous uh, tabs uh, Pane Which is uh, file, plot, package, help and viewer Right So please pay attention on this File means that We can see our working directory All the files in working directory Dia sama saja dengan Uh, folder yang kita buka ni lah Let's say kita nak tengok uh, Ini working directory I dekat mana So I boleh tengok working directory uh, Dekat get wd So my work, current working directory is On document So I boleh buka document So ini adalah working directory Semua file yang ada dalam uh, working uh, the, My document Semua ada dekat sini lah Right So, the important of working directory means that everything you save will be stored in working directory. If you want to call data easily, you save the data in work, uh, working directory and you call the data from working directory. Right? And then, uh, kita boleh set uh, our new working directory atau show folder in new windows. Right? Uh, set as working directory. Maksudnya, dia akan set WD. Right, Ataupun kita boleh uh, Go to working directory So dia akan pergi working directory lah Kalau kita pergi ke tempat lain kan Contoh uh, Go to working directory Dia akan balik Right So Now we look at uh, Plots Plots Sama juga dengan Rbase Tadi kita tengok Rbase Kalau dia kita uh, Buat histogram Dia akan pop up a new window kan But in RStudio Dia akan stay dalam RStudio So let's say I type Histogram Rnorm 1000 I say I, I create 1000 data So dia akan appear dekat sini Right So in another example Let's say library ggplot 2 This is how, how we call library lah Library ggplot 2 So a bit slow because uh, I'm running a lot of program So let's say Um Empty cars Digit plot Empty cars Jom buat tak boleh uh, Jom box Right Jom box plot So dia akan uh, ni. This is another package uh, On data visualization Nanti kita akan belajar Next uh, Chapter number 3 Right So it will appear here lah Right So package Now I'm talking about package So currently Once you install a new version of R You baru download tadi kan So you akan nampak a lot of package Tapi tak tak sebanyak I lah uh, Sebab uh, kita belum install uh, package-package yang lain So basically you baru install Yang uh, kalau you buka You akan nampak the base package Yang mana ready made package Yang bersama-sama dengan R engine R base So you need to install a package lah For example let's say Oops Okay, let's say kita tengok um, Okay, kita tengok this one Kalau dekat sini User library Kalau dia ada dia ada, talk, uh, dia ada tick box dekat sini kan Kalau kita tick Maksudnya kita akan panggil library A bind Right Kalau dia tak uh, Kita untick Maksudnya kita Tak panggil library tu Right So that is how we call and uh, Attach and disattach library lah yeah, Tapi selalunya kita tak akan Take lah buang masa Kita akan tulis Let's say library Kita tengok library uh, BIPR BIPR Library BIPR So Okay Enter So kita akan nampak kat sini Dia akan take lah So dia akan BR right. Dia akan bunyi lah Right 
So, uh, one thing about R Studio, dia akan tolong kita untuk uh, auto complete. Contoh macam tadi, library, deployer. Nampak tak? Dia ada pilihan. So, kita beli, kita boleh pilih lah. Right? Ataupun let's say uh, library, random, forest. So, kita nak, nak cepat tak payah nak guna uh, mouse. Kita boleh tap saja. So, tekan tap. Kita panggil. So, this is uh, all the library available lah. And later on, I can uh, cerita dekat you uh, how to install library. Right? To install library, kita just type, uh, click on install button dekat sini atau simply type install dot dot packages. Let's say you want to install Nasir descriptive analysis. Right? So, you just install. So, basically, any library that kita nak install ni adalah daripada CRAN. Right, daripada CRAN. Daripada uh, Comprehensive R Archive Network. Right? So, nanti akan tunjuk nanti. Um, so, let me finish about the explanation the pain. So, dekat sini kita ada help file. Right? Let's say I want to know the help file about ggplot2. Right? So, dia akan keluar help file about ggplot2. So, how? what is the description of the package, the maintainer names, and then uh, dekat sini dia general lah. Let's say, let's say I letak help ggplot. So, another alternative for help is question mark lah. Right? Question mark ggplot. So, dia akan bagi tahu description of this function and then how to use this function and the explanation of each argument. Right? So, don't worry much. Later on, uh, when uh, next class, kita akan tengok lah how to use the function. And viewer, viewer is an alternative for plot. Right? Plot ni, dia adalah static graph. Right? When you have a static graph, so, dia akan appear dekat plot. So, when you have a dynamic graph, dia akan appear dekat viewer. For example, tadi kita dah panggil uh, this one. Right? Let's say I store this one as M. Right? So, I panggil library uh, plot li. Right? Sekejap, tunggu dia panggil. So, it depend on your computer lah. Huh? Gigi plot li M. Oh, tak boleh. So, dia akan keluar kat sini lah. Graph. Your graph will be, will be appear here lah. You boleh uh, zoom, unzoom. Right? So, dekat sini nampak tak graph I? Uh, dia, dia dynamic lah. Dynamic. Means that this is very useful when you want to uh, create a graph for HTML ataupun atas dalam website, dalam dashboard. Right? So, they very inter interactive. So, this is the basically the introduction of the pin, all the pins in our studio. So, we also can publish the the graph right, uh, in our pubs or our studio connects. Later on, we will use our pub lah for, because this is a free uh, website to publish. Right. Okay. Um, let's go back to package. Right. Package. Okay. Let me... R package. So, the most important single innovation in R is the package system which provide a cross-platform system for distributing and testing code of data. Right? So, if you want to do a complex analysis or advanced analysis, you can use uh, package lah. Kalau you tak mau guna advanced package lah. For example, let's say you want to use uh, you want to uh, to conduct a linear regression, for example, let's say linear LM, let's say uh, MP cars, uh, let's say MP cars is MPG, MP cars weight. So, so summary linear so dia akan keluar result lah linear regression right so uh, this is very uh, package yang ada dalam uh, base R we no need to download the package right 
when you want a uh, external package right so you need to go to website lah website r uh, cran tadi cran kat sini kita dah pergi cran tadi kan ok kita masuk cran balik dekat sini so kena nampak tak belah kiri ni dia ada software dia ada cran about r software right dia ada uh, button name as package right so you click package you akan nampak dekat sini currently cran package repository uh, features 18302 available package more than 10000 is approaching to 20000 package nowadays so kita boleh tengok table of available package so dia akan close semua package name and package uh, title so let's say kita nak uh, nak cari random forest random forest so you just type random forest dia akan carilah this is a estimation dia kata 61 random forest package are available in cran right so we can find one so let's say kita nak install uh, tadi uh, package apa yang ada tadi nak tengok so we need to know lah so how to know which package are suitable for us so we need to click let's say random forest ni let's say I tengok okay easy special modeling with random forest so I need to click that uh, name special RF and then dia akan bagi tahu kat kita uh, the description of the package and the, the requirement of the package uh, publish date and the uh, dependents are more than 2.2 version 2.1 version so yeah, currently we are using 4.1.1 kan uh, so that's okay lah so you can see the reference manual you can download the reference manual here so macam mana nak pakai uh, the package will uh, it will be available here lah let's say you want to do area under the curve under the ROC curve so just type AU, AUC O and P what is O? O is a numeric ve uh, vector or with observation same length as P P is the numeric uh, vector prediction with same length of O so this is the observation and this is a prediction then you will get a uh, area under ROC curve. Uh, this is uh, one of example lah. So let's say kita try install this package lah. Spatial RF. Right? I just copy this one. So I go to R Studio. I just type install dot packages. Right? Boleh nampak lah. Install dot packages. And then double inverted comma and put the package name and then I hit enter so you nampak tak kat sini the installing the package so dia akan keluar ok now bila dia dah install dia akan kata kat sini package uh, downloaded successfully unpack and then dia install lah so you can call library special RF right so baru kita boleh pakai ok now, that is very simple interface, uh, the four panes in R Studio. Now, let's look at uh, tools dekat atas ni. Dekat atas ni, dia ada toolbar, uh, file tools. Kita ada file, edit, code, view, plot, session, build, debug, profile and tool and help. So, I just want to show you the tool toolbar. Right, so you go to tool and click on global option. So you will get this type of uh, dialog box lah, the type of window. Right, so dia ada banyak sekali sini. So kita nak tengok general dekat sini. Dia akan bagi tahu R version. Let's say you are download, you already download a new version of R. Right, and bila you buka R Studio, they still 4.1.1. Right. So you can change the directory using uh, what version you want to use, right? And then uh, default working directory, right? So you can choose default working directory lah. But our default working directory is on document file, right? Kita dah lima minit lagi ya. Right, uh, and then we can go to the most important part lah, code. Uh, Tapi nanti kita tengok later on lah, uh, appearance. Appearance, you can, you can see the R Studio themes. You can choose classic, modern, or sky. So let's say I use classic. So dia akan bentuk macam ni lah. Okay, modern. 
Oops. Modern apply. Benda yang sama. Modern dan klasik lain sikit. Sekejap. Klasik. Uh, dia macam ni. Uh, dia macam ni klasik. So let's say we go back to that uh, ni, appearance. Let's say I want to use uh, modern. And uh, the font type that I want to use is this one. And then I want uh, font size 11. Ikut keselesaan lah. Huh? And you can change the the theme lah. Uh, you nak pakai uh, gelap sikit ke. Terang sikit ke. Suka hati lah. Right? So as long as you happy. Then okay lah. I... For for me, if when I want to do a demonstration for you, I'm going to use Xcode lah, senang. So, senang putih, you nampak semua, right? And then, I don't really like um, the the paint to be like this lah. I tak, I tak suka, suka paint macam ni. Sebab I nak tunjuk dekat you, when I do uh, a demonstration, I tulis dekat script. And then, nak tunjuk output, I akan tunjuk dekat console. So, kalau dekat bawah dua ni, buang rugi. Uh, space. So, I nak buat global option. Paint layout. Dekat sini, source, console, environment, file. So, I nak change dekat sini to console. Side by side. So, senang I nampak perubahan uh, output dia lah. So, we nampak dekat sini. Okay. So, this is the console. This is the R script. The source. Right? So, I think that's all uh, untuk uh, very brief introduction of R and R Studio. Right. Any questions so far before we end our session?